Okay, so I seen a couple comments down in the comment section of my last video a couple months back now, but here I am making a video on the settings that I have in my uh, Steam VR settings for Project Cars 2. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, 90 Hertz is a really good uh, setting. It doesn't um, really go into smoothing too much, which you'll see in the um, the graph on, on board when we go into the game. So let's uh, go ahead and go do that now so you guys can check it out. And uh, what I'm going to do to represent this because I don't have my wheel set up right now is I'm going to open up a replay which is essentially the same thing. So right now it seems a little high. It'll uh, it'll lower itself in a minute. I think it just does that at the start of the race. starts to turn green over time and you'll see spikes here and there but in, in game you don't really notice it too much anyway. And if you want you can even lower it down to 60 hertz and it'll probably be a lot smoother. And I can show you the um, let's see show you the in-game graphics. So visual effects right here, and that's just for my monitor. Um, these are the rest of the settings here. Pretty much have everything on low, even though it's kind of sucky um, because you have like a really powerful GPU. It just makes it a lot smoother, and you don't really lose a lot of detail anyway. Uh, here are the VR settings. I don't have a uh, super sampling turned up too high. Just left it at default, and that's it. All right. Well, hope that sufficed as a settings tutorial. Let me know if you guys need anything else. <laughs>